Okay, let's see, Dan. This is going to be a test to see if I can record you a view of my Minecraft world. So, let's see, where am I? This, this is where, so my, where my outdoor, this is my outdoor compound. Uh, I'm walled off here so that the bad guys can't get me. Uh, and I have a place where I can come out in the morning and I can check and I can make sure the coast is clear where the monsters or zombies are and I can pick them off here and I can shoot them. Now, let's see. This started out as my this started out as my build the tower so I can always find my way back to my underground lair. So this was this was the tower that I built. Uh, it's the tower of no return. It wasn't always like this. I I chopped it out. I got tired of it and I chopped off the bottom. Um, I wanted to make it as high as I could go, and I got bored making steps so I could get down, so I just went and built a four square tower as high as I could go until I ran out of rocks, which is like higher than the clouds, and then I jumped off. And I, <laughs> and I landed at my spawn spot, and I respawned and picked up all my stuff. Um, so then. My spawn, my spawn spot is is down there in the ground. We'll go down there in a second. You can start to see the graphics. This is a uh, this is a texture pack. So you, you take the uh, you take your initial load and then you apply a texture pack against it, and it gives you gives you some of these funky cool features. It looks looks a little bit nicer. They got a cool moon and they got a cool sunsets. Um, they've changed the look of some of these things. They give it a little more texture to the boxes and the crafting tables and it's really uh it's really kind of cool i i love the i love the uh i love the graphics of day and night in this in this uh in this thing sunsets are always beautiful so anyway this was my place and we'll go downstairs and look at my first place i lived that over there that is another tower i built to mark the entrance to a cave that goes down under the ground and went to my uh eventually I found this long cavern bottomless pit and went down and way down under the ground over there there's a uh there's a um there was where a dungeon was and uh, so I have a huge mine down under here. I found the dungeon and I kept working. This is where I've got all my resources from is way over there. I have an underground connection between my place and there, so let's go down for a second. I'll show you my underground. There's uh you can see way over there is a mountain I put a torch on top of just to see if I could see it. There's my bridge that goes across the water to another island. It's beautiful game. So let's see. So this is this is where I this is the the place where I spawn and what I did was I respawned. I came in here and I built protection around it and I put a box there so when I come back I always can have some stuff. I keep some arrows and some tools in here. So if I ever get caught way outside and die and leave all my stuff, at least I'll have something to get me going again. Uh, so this is where I originally created the first cave and I this is when I thought, oh, cave. Eh, I built a cave and we worked all over here and you know, you know what you know what it's like. You don't really find all that much at this layer. Um, you know, I had multiple doors coming and going. I had back doors and front doors, and and uh, this is when I finally did. When I finally explored and found that that cave entrance way down there in the the bottomless pit, I, I built this tunnel to go over and meet up with the bottomless pit, so I wouldn't have to walk outdoors to get to it. I could do it at night. So this. So this is where, this is essentially the bottomless pit. If I go way up there, about ten levels up, you'll get to the surface or so. And then these are the circular stairs I built around the uh, the bottomless pit. And eventually, when I got to the bottom, I found a dungeon and 
had to figure out how to kill the dungeon and so eventually this gets all the way down to lava and then down to bedrock but uh, so here's kind of the landing of my underground place it goes I've got kind of I've been working off in a couple of directions and you can see it's pretty elaborate I guess when you look at it <laughs> Um, this is my underground store. I keep some extra armor in here and things I need underground wood and stuff like that and food and the uh, and food to protect. I should actually let's see. I think I've got some. Uh, what the heck? Huh? The cow just exploded there. I guess. Uh, let's do this. We'll make this cook. And leave that for a bit. Um, so here's, I'll show you only one place here, and then I'll call it a day in this. Um, this has been my most prolific mining area. And uh, this is where I developed my technique of mining. So I started out here, and I said, hey, I cleaned out this whole area and started working on it. And I said, hey, the best thing to do would be to cut a long hallway. And that way you can discover whatever's here and you see what's in this wall and see what's in this wall. So you get really four, you can discover four blocks this way and if there's anything there you'll find it. Very quickly you go all the way down, turn through it, come back, start another one. And very methodically go down and do this over and over again. And as I was doing it I realized and that's probably not the most effective way. The most effective way would be to cut a two-hole thing and leave two pieces between each one. The reason for this is when you mine down here you'll see this block and when you mine down here you'll see this block and if there's nothing interesting there there's no reason for getting them out of there and so this turned out to be probably the most effective way of mining uh, and it exposes you to the most stuff and so this seems to be the layer I, I think we're probably about we're probably about six or seven layers above bedrock at this point and this this tends to be the place that gets you the most stuff and I've come into some really good patches here like you know well, the red stuff you find tons of, but uh, I've I've come into sets of like uh, eight or nine diamond blocks together, and you know eight or nine iron blocks together, or a mixture of some iron blocks and some red blocks, and you know great big 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 bunches. So uh, it's always the goal to get some of these guys out of here, but I don't want to die. <laughs> Um, hey, oh, let's see, let's see if we can keep him chasing us and kill him, because he will give us sulfur. Come on. He's going to be difficult. Oh, oh well. <laughs> yeah, try to get him. Just in case. you. One of the things I've realized is that uh, the more light you have, do not scrimp on torches. The more light you have, the less monsters you have. Conversely, if <coughs> if you start to have too many monsters, you don't have enough light. The other thing I'd say is this texture pack is darker than the old one used to be. So anyways, bud, that's it. I'm having a lot of fun with the game. <coughs> Wasting a lot of time with the game. <laughs> and... Uh, Next, the next video I show you will be when I have made my electrical circuit creations because uh, 
as you saw up above, I have just a boatload of uh, a boatload of uh, the redstone stuff. I just have to figure out how to make switches. That's why I'm trying to get the TNT. That'll be my next thing is to uh, is to try to uh, try to build bombs and can cannons and stuff like that. Take care. Bye.